Hi guys, lots of people have recommended that I back up my videos to BitChute. BitChute is sometimes seen as the place to go to escape internet censorship, and some would say that it is the main alternative to YouTube in terms of freedom of speech. However, it's also built up a bit of a reputation for harbouring the far right. To be fair, that's not really a reason not to move across, is it? If I shop at Woolworths, and so does Pauline Hanson, that doesn't mean I support Pauline Hanson, right? I'm all for free speech. If people want to express their opinions, that's fine, as long as that freedom doesn't infringe on other people's freedom to do the same. Obviously, there are some exceptions. I don't think any site should allow things like oppression, incitement, or just downright illegal and obscene content. OK, we could argue about what should and shouldn't be illegal, and what is and isn't considered obscene, but there are certain things that I won't go into here that just shouldn't be online by any exception acceptable standard. To be fair to BitChute, it does have its own community guidelines which don't allow that sort of stuff. If they did, well quite frankly, the authorities would take them down. Anyway, less than two months ago, YouTube were essentially censoring or demonetizing videos that made all but a passing mention of the coronavirus. I think that was stupid. Coronavirus was the only thing that the world was talking about. To say that YouTubers weren't also allowed to talk about it was bordering on moronic. Anyway, YouTube came to their senses, and at least for me, they started allowing me to self-certify by answering a few questions each time I upload a video. One of which is, sensitive issues, analysis of or opinion around serious and topical events not described above, such as COVID-19. Clicking on that, we can see that it's now safe for ads. In the end, YouTube did the right thing and allowed people to start talking about the single most important event that they'll probably ever see in their entire lifetimes. Thank you YouTube for doing the right thing. But this does highlight one important fact. It shows how a single dominant player can dictate what we can and can't talk about online. So the other day I thought I'd take the plunge and start backing up my channel to BitChute. I already have an account over at Library, which I personally think is a better alternative. Go check it out. But since backing up to BitChute, I've run into lots of problems. I use their importer tool over at importer.bitshoot.com to back up my 375 videos. 174 videos simply failed. No explanation, they just failed. Some videos are still in progress, while others were backed up successfully. But when I click on those backed up videos, I'm taken to my BitChute account and there's simply nothing there. Not a single video. So yeah, it's shit. However, I've apparently linked my BitChute account with my YouTube one, so whenever I upload a new YouTube video, it should automatically upload to my BitChute account as well. Whether that actually occurs or not remains to be seen. Anyway, feel free to check out my new BitChute account. The link's in the description below. But as I said in the title of this video, daily rant on BitChute? Maybe.